Welcome to Kabeen's Coffee Corner. Today we're going to be reviewing the Mir Porigami pour over, travel pour over thing. But before we do that, I ask a few things. Please subscribe and like this video. Subscribing and liking this video really helps me produce more content and more reviews out there. Also, if you're looking at purchasing any gear, please use my affiliate links below where I make a slight commission at no extra charge to you. This also helps me buy new gear to review and test and demonstrate for you so you can have a better idea of what you wanna purchase. I also have a Patreon account for those who would like to support me in my videos. Please consider giving to my Patreon account where you can be entered in to give, to be a part of different giveaways. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. This is the Porgami by Mir. This imit imitates a classic V60, um, except a little different. So it's like a nice little dripper. And you have three different parts right off the bat here. You have the, the base, which these clip in together. So this short part right here goes directly into the longer parts on one end and then you grab the other side and put the short end on the long side and then it should clip right into place like this they come with and are able to use v60 filters these are a little shorter than v60 filters but they do fit in there quite well um, and do the job they do have to get a little bent to get in there so we're gonna start with doing a simple V or a simple recipe for a pour over with the pour gummy. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you my feedback and different things that I like along the way. So you're gonna start with doing things very similar to a V60. And you are gonna simply grab your carafe or whatever you're dripping to, a couple work just as well. And you're gonna sit this on top like so and add a little bit of hot water to preheat your carafe as all as well as to wet down the filter and get rid of any paper taste that you do may have and remember this one is specifically designed for traveling purposes here so it's meant to collapse and fold and be in a super lightweight small area all right so we got that part done I'm gonna dispose of my water and we are going to do a recipe um, that I use for pretty much everything, which is going to be 320 grams of water and 20 grams of coffee. The coffee, I typically like to grind for this just a little bit coarser than a V60 in between a V60 and the Chemex size. So I'm going to, I've already done that on my Kinu M47 Classic. Gonna get all those grounds in there. And what I like to do is I like to simply just level it out as best as possible. And you can kind of see the like little triangle shape here you got. And then you're gonna balance it on your cup, tear out your scale. And this is the Akaya Pearl scale. You might see a little blinkingness going on there and that's simply just the frame rate of the camera, not the scale itself. All right, so I'm gonna Grab my kettle, and I'm gonna do a quick little pour. Get all the grounds wet. And then we're gonna wait 30 seconds or so. Let that blooming and let the off-gassing of the beans go into place. The thing I don't like about this already is it's just a very odd shape. Pouring in a triangle instead of circular motions it does do a very good job of dripping down. All right, now that we got our initial 30 second pour in, we're gonna continue doing circles from the inside of it to the outside. And the nice thing about coffee is it's all personal preference of a taste. So you might not like my brew method and others might. It just kind of depends on who you are. You gotta be careful not to pour this too high because you don't wanna get this over the lip of it, which it is smaller for a V60. So you're gonna have to do more pours versus just a couple bigger pours, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna let it drain out a little bit more. We're about halfway through the brew. Well, halfway through the weight of water that I put in, not halfway through the brew. And then we are going to Go ahead and pour a little more there, aiming for those dark spots throughout it. And 
gonna need to wait just a tad more. We got 224 grams so far out of the 320 that we're aiming. And then we're gonna pour a little bit more. So there is a pretty easy way to do this without a scale. So if you're camping or something like that, I typically use a Nalgene water bottle that has um, basically the ounces marked on the side of it. So I can kind of guess where 400, or I can kind of guess where 400 milliliters is or 320 milliliters based off the ounce count on there. And I'll just measure it out with my Nalgene, pour it into a jet boil, and then I'll have beans measured out in 20 gram increments in little plastic bags just for the lightest easiest weight option that you can do um, obviously you won't have as much control with a jet boil as you do with this stag ekg now in the meantime when you're waiting what i typically like to do is i like to go ahead and grab whatever vessels i'll be using for my coffee um, so right here we have the Kruv Expire and Insight glasses. Can't remember which one's which, but here's one and here's the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just put a little bit of water in those to preheat. I don't use these glasses very often, but I was feeling a little fancy today. So preheat, the reason for that is so as soon as you make your coffee, it doesn't lose temperature right when it touches the inside of your cold or lukewarm glass from just regular. So a couple things I don't like about it is you can kind of, it just pours kind of weird. It's in a triangle. It's actually just as heavy as an AeroPress, I believe. The weight's pretty darn close, which is kind of a frustrating thing. Um, for a lightweight travel brewer, if you're backpacking, you're going to want something as light as possible. And this might not be the best way to go because you might be able to get a little lighter with the AeroPress Go. However, it does fit literally inside your pocket inside this nice little, little pouch here with the strap and you can fit your filters and almost, almost everything you need to brew in there outside your beans and something to heat up water. All right, so now that we got that done, I'm gonna just go ahead and dispose of these grounds real quick. Just one moment. And we are back here. So one of the nice things about a V60 style dripper or any type of dripper for backpacking or camping or travel is you can just grab the filter and throw it straight away. And the nice thing about that is you can put it straight in a Ziploc bag if you're backpacking and have to carry it out. So no grounds that you have to clean up versus an air press. Um, this does stay pretty clean on the inside as you see. I did not rinse it out, I just threw away the bag. So if you just simply take a little cloth like this and break this apart. And then simply all you need to do is just dry this off a little bit. You might get some coffee smell so it might be, it might be all right to go ahead and rinse it off when you get home after your trip or whatever you're doing with it, or if you're in a hotel or whatever it is this is typically what i do use to bring when i travel it makes a good cup of coffee it's nice and simple it's easy and then your cleanup is done you got all three of your parts here which fit directly back in this bag super well It's a lot easier than the way that I'm doing it right now. There you go. Back in the bag and you can throw your filters in there and you're good to go. A couple things I don't like about this is it slides around like crazy on a cup. It doesn't stay the best. You kind of have to watch it versus if you had a V60 with the silicone 
or the plastic V60, it has more of a base or any type of V60 for that matter, or Kalita Wave, it has more of a base to it so it doesn't like slide around as much. It does make these little divots right here to help prevent it sliding off a ton, but it scares me when it goes as, it just moves around a lot more than I'd hope, hope it to be. This is a Kalita Wave 155. That's not going anywhere. It just feels more stable on there versus this one. It just seems like it's gonna slide out. So if you're not on the smoothest surface, it's not gonna work the best. But however, I really like this thing. It's, it's more compact. So when you're traveling like on a plane, when we get to the point where we can do that again more safely, you can easily put this in your bag. It doesn't take as much space. When you put it beside the classic dripper of a Kalita, and get, again, this is the 155, so this is a smaller version of a Kalita, smaller than a V60. Like, the space that the mirror, or the mirror takes up, the Porigami takes up, is way less than the Kalita Wave, and way less than the V60, and things like that. So simply putting it in your bag, putting it in your pocket, things like that are gonna be way easier when traveling, and way more enjoyable. So if you have any questions with this origami, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe if you find this video um, beneficial at all. And remember, I do have a Patreon account and affiliate links where I'll make a slight commission and no extra charge to you. And I'm just going to pour that in the drip tray. And oh, this is the fellow carafe, by the way. The fellow carafe I'm not a big fan of because you can see the drips coming down the side and it's very expensive on there. So let's go ahead and give this a taste and see what it's like. Yeah, I would say that's a very well balanced cup, very tasty, very pleasant to drink from. The mirror is a small package, makes a good drink, super easy to use and super easy to carry with you. It is just a little more hefty than the AeroPress. But when it comes down to space and not weight, the mirror Porigami is the one that will win every time. Thanks for watching.